Today's episode is brought to you by the letter space. It's not a letter, but it should be. Because I said so. And for no other reason. Here we are. At a place. Hi, I'm Game Guy. It's time for more Let's Play Ratchet and Clank. Uh, I believe, yeah, we're at a point now where there's just no new weapons, so, you know, you don't even really need to worry about it. I meant to do my quick select. There we go. Rhino is now a part of my friend list. Alright. Because, yeah, I mean, I used it, like, once, man. You, you gotta use it more than once. What's the point of having a weapon of mass destruction if you only use it once? There's a bunch of rings in the water, and I'm trying to presently remember what they lead to. But they open this door, so let's go. Alright. Okay, we got more electric water shenanigans. Get excited. I remember this one being a bit of a thing. I think there's actually a skill point here for not taking any damage during this. So, uh, I'm gonna give that a go here. Um, should be... I think, if I remember right, this is actually a little bit easier to take no damage in compared to the other one, so... Because the, the fans, while they take up a lot of space, are a lot more predictable compared to these lasers when they just kind of spin around really quickly like so you know oops well i thought i would make it but i did not it's fine i'll do it again later yeah this is a bit of a mess of a thing but again i do find this a little bit easier i'm kind of surprised i didn't get hit there i i'm not surprised i got hit there uh rings to go through open the door Leading me to the end of the world. Thank goodness uh, I can jump out of the water just in time to not be deleted from existence. You know, when you think space fleet, do you think um, water level? I mean, that this is just the one part of the level, but, you know, still, it's a thing. Man, uh, check that out. That's... Pretty something. Anyway. <laughs> All right. I did it. I got a code bot. Yeah, that thing. You know, the code bot. You know the code bot, right? Man, okay, listen. I, it's funny how every time I say I'm never gonna do this, I do it anyway. Look at how much money I got from that. There's, just, there's so much money here. There's so much money here. Look at all the money everywhere it is. Money everywhere for me to get. All right, that's enough money. <laughs> I don't need any more money. I I do want to go and get the, the thing here, though. Uh, yeah. You know, I have to do the water thing without taking damage. Fair enough. Alright, this is actually kind of sneaky. There's two things I can do here. Turns out. I'm not sure if I can do them simultaneously. But I guess we'll find out. Just gotta be... Well, I wasn't careful, so I guess I'm doing the other thing. Whoa, Ratchet, where are you going? Ouchie pain. All right, once you've gone through these three rings, actually, you want to head to the left? Because there's another pathway you can take entirely. Um, surface here. And there's a golden bolt hanging out over here in the zone that exists. Uh, it's kind of weird because, like, time doesn't stop. So, you know. There is a button over here that'll reset it, though. I'm not sure how this works, like what time is going to be left exactly. That just gives me the full amount? Really? That's weird. I mean, I guess fair enough, but still a little bit weird. Uh, anyway, let's get the heck out of here. I gotta try this again, so, you know. What? I pressed X. I mean, I may as well just go back at this point.
Oh. That resets it. Interesting. I pressed X, game. Ratchet has like a slight delay when you want him to go up or down, it seems like. Ratchet, I really needed you to stop moving. Gosh, dang it, Ratchet. You know, it's funny, I'm like, oh, this is way easier to get no hits on. I, I legitimately still feel that way, and I don't know what is happening, why I'm having so much trouble. Please hit the button. Gosh, I hit the wrong button. You know what I think the problem is? I was doing it from like the top half or the sides. Bottom was way easier to parse. I, it's just weird to me, but okay, whatever. Also, there's a few times there where I, I'm pretty sure I felt like I should have got hit, but I didn't. And you know what? We don't complain about those, it's fine. Um, I don't know. It's a weird sort of thing. <laughs> I think the biggest problem too is I'm like, I want to stop, but if you let go of the, like, the hydro propulsion or whatever it's called, I've legitimately forgot already. Like, Ratchet does like a big swimming motion, so he just kind of keeps going. There's really just no way to stop. <laughs> it's kind of a thing. Anyway, we can go to the level proper now, finally, after spending like 20 minutes in water zone. I, it wasn't actually 20 minutes, but, you know. Oh, okay. I had a feeling robots were still here. It's fine. See, I'm a robot. I was always a robot the whole time. The whole time I was a robot. See, hello. You didn't even wave at me because you turned around. Hello. Hi, how you doing? Where are the robot parties at? Anyway, die, please. <laughs> it's kind of your cue that um, there are going to be more robots. I don't know why they have to hide them behind these doors, though. That just seems rude. But hey, I mean, I'm not the video game maker. It's not me. Hello, friend. Don't mind me. I'm just going to the robot party. The, the, the dogs don't seem to agree with my presence. So that's pretty cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give them a Tesla Claw and also just kind of walk right into this laser. Seemed like the thing to do. Tesla Claw is very much, yeah, just the better Pyrocitor. Um, mostly because it also kind of homes in a little bit. Um, so that's cool. Oh, nope. There's nothing to worry about here. Nothing ever to worry about more boxes everywhere. Man, it's like this game wants me to have money or something. It's just a shame that it wants me to have money very slowly. <laughs> it's the only reason such a glitch is abused is because this game just doesn't want to give money. It's funny because in the, the PS uh, game with trophies, the PS3 version, um... I'm, I'm, I'm red now. Okay, now I'm green. The PS3 version, I believe, has a trophy for collecting, like, a million bolts. Take note, I said it took, like, eight hours to, like, get to half of that. This is ridiculous. How is this gonna work? I don't actually know, turns out. Um, can you see me? Alright, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna desync you from the group. A little bit. I don't know why you're just standing there. Okay, now you're all are back in sync. That's fine. I'm a robot. See, look at me. I'm a robot. I'm gonna hang out in this door with you guys. Don't mind me. Hello, I am a friendly robot who just wants to murder you. That's the friendliest thing I could do. Turns out, I, I can't think of a friendlier thing. 
Alright, let's get a move on. See, look at me! Friendly robot zone! Please don't push me. That's not very friendly. It's not very friendly. Come on, guy. You gotta be more friendly than that, alright? Listen. Have a friendliness wrench. That's my appeal to you. I probably don't even really need to be disguised for this last one. We can just, we can just cut to the chase. Get out of here, guy. Get, 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 get out of here. There's a lot of robots. But also dogs. I'm not sure how I feel about the dogs. Hello, dogs. They still seem somewhat aggro at this point. Alright, we're gonna try this here as soon as they're gone. Let's just cease and desist. Huh, that's weird. All the dogs are gone. How'd that happen, guys? I was just standing here watching the whole thing, and I don't know what happened. That's weird. I don't know what that was about. Anyway. <laughs> ah. Collecting the spoils of war. You know, I don't even really need to kill these guys, probably, but it's funny, so I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Look at me, I'm doing it. I'm doing it right now. He's gone now. Isn't that hilarious? To be fair, these guys actually drop a decent chunk of money, apparently, which is kind of weird. It's just a little bit weird. Just a, a little bit weird, if you ask me. Hey there, big guy face. How you doing? Get out of here. Get out of here. Have we had enough of this hello, I am a friendly robot bit? Because I am a pretty friendly robot, as it turns out. I mean, I have a pretty friendly robot. He's on my back. I forget his name, though. It's probably not important in the slightest. We'll probably have to drop his name from the fourth game. It's just not that important. Anyway, uh, yep, we got more robots. Yeah, I had a feeling. I had a feeling there would be a robot on the other side of the door. Hello, guy. I have weapons of mass destruction, but who needs them? I got a wrench. Uh, oh, yep, I was gonna say, there's probably boxes in here. Probably boxes in here. Yep, there sure are. Please be destroyed, boxes. Please be destroyed. Alright. To the Dreadnought. That's where I was prior. This level goes on a little bit longer than I remember it doing, and I know we're not even really done yet. Uh, okay, so we got dudes over there. I don't see any robots, though. Can I reach you with the rhino? I mean, probably. If I wanted to. It feels bad to switch to the, the freaking... This thing, swing shot, from the menu. Because it's just like, I need the holo guys so much in this level that I kind of just want it always there and available. Yeah, I had a feeling there'd be robots here. Um, okay. I'm thinking just Rhino. Please, just Rhino. It's fine. Guys, what happened? There were a bunch of explosions and all of a sudden only one dog remains. That's weird. How did that happen? I don't even know how that happened. It's a mystery for the ages. All right, yeah, I had a feeling you were gonna try to see me, but sadly I saw you first. That's the joke. I gotta check all these doors, because you never know, there could be something hiding. Could be something. There gonna be a robot? Yep, there's a robot. Hello, robot, I am here, hi. And I waved to you. Man, if only I could move as fast as you guys while I am a robot. That would be pretty convenient for, um, you know, living longer, probably. But mostly because I got a skill point. Oh, you know what? There was a skill point for killing all the robots. So it's a good thing I killed all the robots. See, it was on purpose the whole time. The whole time. I mean, it was on purpose the whole time, but, you know. <laughs> Alright, Drex flagship. 
Does that mean we're done with robots? I might be able to take the hollow disguise off at this point. I mean, I will, because I am going to want the swing shot back. Uh, okay, so there's a force field here that I can't do anything with. We can, however, go out into space. Aw, oh, yeah, space time. So that's the planet I've been stuck on this whole time. All right, this seems very unsafe, but you know what? Let's go ahead and just walk through here. Actually, no, we can go down this way instead. I think the idea is we need to do something about those turrets in order to get past them because we're not gonna be able to get past them like this. Thank goodness there's just a fighter jet here. Gotta have one more of these, right? That's for sure. All right, so the trick here, again, is you do want to get rid of these turrets. Um, sadly, they have enough health that it's a bit of a problem. Um, please, okay. Get out of here, turrets. There's a bunch of stuff over here. Give to me the ammunition. All right. This segment's pretty cool. I think it's a neat way. Like, this game makes use of its stuff. You know what I mean? Like, the whole pilot's helmet thing. Like, you'd think... Oops, I guess I touched you. You'd think the pilot's helmet would just be used, like, once and then it's done. But, like, it's not. Like, you use it quite a lot, actually. Boy, I'm just missing, like, every shot, turns out. That's pretty cool, actually pretty cool. Get out of here. I don't know how many missiles it takes to kill you, but it took enough. Alright. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Excuse me. I would like to do the thing known as win. Thanks. Alright, let's go in for another volley. Let's go in for another volley of missiles hitting the stuff. Please stop shooting me. That's very rude. There's a lot of, like, just dudes hanging out. Oh, that's the planet that he made. I was gonna say, what is that even? Like, I... Yeah, he's, like, tethering it to a place. That's what's happening. I understand the ways of the world now. Now that we have done that, mission is complete. I did it. All right, mission complete. The ship is gone. Literally no one cares, apparently. All right, good thing we got these Magna Boots. They're very important. All right. Now that the turrets are gone, we can just kind of go along our merry way. <laughs> that was a neat little diversion, honestly. I kind of I kind of like it. But, uh, you know, it's one of those things. All right, platform, please deliver to me down into the ship or into the side of the ship. I'm not actually sure what my orientation is at the present moment. Um, I think I'm just upside down. That's fine. I guess I will remain upside down because it looks like it's more advantageous to be on the ceiling than it is to be elsewhere. There's a burn mark on the ground here for some reason. I use the word ground loosely, but you know. All right, platform, please flip me back over, thanks. All right, back to regular normality. Thank you. All right, doggy dogs. You guys wanna be chickens? I think you wanna be chickens, probably. You guys keep touching the lasers and it's hurting you and it's kind of mean. It's over here. Oh, more robots, apparently. Uh, that's bad for me, because those, those things exist. Please turn off the alarm. Ow, I just happened to be standing where that was. That's lame. Is this where I'm supposed to go? Because I didn't, like, look over here at all. I, oh, okay. I thought this was a doorway? It is a doorway. Well, what was back over there? I'm, I'm confused now. Well, now I gotta know. Actually, you know what? There, I think, is another gold bolt here somewhere, so maybe that's what this leads to? It's weird that there's more robots, because, um... I thought we were done with robots, actually. I'm just kind of standing there. Alright, well, I had nothing to do with that, actually. 
All right, you know what? Let's just uh, cut to the chase here. Let's just get it done. Let's just get it done now. Hello. Be chickens, please. Chickens are so much better than every other animal. Fight me. All right. Now that I've done that, what's in here? Another robot. Um, I'm gonna, I, I would very much appreciate switching to the rhino when I press the button to do so. Sadly, it just didn't happen. I actually forget. I don't think the rhino drops ammo in this game from crates. I don't think so, anyway. Yeah, there is, of course, where the gold bolt is. Uh, do I just launch myself through this? I guess. Ow. Well, I mean, the point is I made it. It really doesn't matter how. <laughs> it really just doesn't matter that much. Alright. Did it. There's a box here that wants to blow up, and this doorway will lead me somewhere. Uh, where might it lead me? There's a warpy warp. It's pretty exciting. Oh, we're on the other side of this. Well, I don't really want to be here. I mean, fair enough, but, you know, it's just gonna be safer to go back this way, I guess. Man, everybody loves walking at high speed, man. I'm just Sonic the Hedgehog, Lombax. The hedge lombax. I'm the lombax that will trim your hedges. That's me. Can I, like, just drop off at this point? No, I'm stuck here. I'm assuming I can drop off at this point, though. No, I am actually still stuck here. I thought I could drop off, but it turns out I am not allowed. Here we go. Ratchet the hedgehog. Clearly the best in the universe. Yeah, buddy. I love walking at high speeds. That's me, the high speed walker guy. All right, here we go, I did it. All right, there is a chair in the middle of the room. Let's prepare. That's not the rhino. It's also not Drek. Tonight on Blonde TV, the event you have all been waiting for, the total annihilation of an entire planet. Witness the power, the destruction, and the nothingness that follows. So join ultimate Supreme Executive Chairman Drek as he pushes the button that ends one world and begins another. I can see my house from Then here. stay tuned for the galaxy's funniest superhero bloopers featuring Captain Quark. Now we know where he is. Let's get him. Yeah, we did it. All by ourselves. And I didn't have to kill a single person. Because robots aren't people. <laughs> Clank, why are you looking at me like that? I, di I didn't mean it. I was joking. I'm sorry. Uh, real quick before I end the episode, I want to go to a place. For one last thing. Back to Quarto. You guys remember the big clank section over here in this door, right? This is where the code bot goes. <gasps> Hello, Gold Bolt and like a billion boxes. Let me go ahead and pull out my taunter one last time. Aw, oh, yeah. Breaking all the rules, which is to say all the boxes in the world. Give me that Gold Bolt. I'll take it. It's mine now. That's it. Uh, next time... I guess we uh, we put an end to this. Yeah, we're, we're at the end already, isn't that hilarious? I mean, there's, there's not much left to do. It's pretty great, we just gotta go past this uh, hall of poultry. It's not even really a hall, but you know what? It could have been. It could have been a hall. 
but unfortunately it just wasn't. So, um, that's just truly tragic. Next time, we go back to where this all started and end it. See you later and goodbye. There's bolts somewhere, but I don't care. <laughs>